Welcome everybody. I hope all is well. I made it to my camp spot. I'm gonna get camp set up, situated, so I can enjoy being out here in nature. So let's freaking get camp set up. All right, well, I got camp all set up and I just pretty much have been chilling. You can see I took my shirt off. I actually, I put my chair right here and I put the cooler right here as, you know, a little recliner. And I honestly, I took a little power nap. It felt great. It's beautiful right now. Uh, but I did want to show you, so the road I came on, I came on this road, came that way. I'm at the dead end. Um, it looks like the Forest Service put a bunch of boulders right here to block people from going further that way. And there's a sign right here that says no vehicles permitted and uh, foot traffic is allowed. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna take a little hike up that way. I was looking at the map and I saw that it, it, it looks like it goes to another road. So, I'm thinking of going on a little hike tomorrow. I will say, oh, and uh, firing right here. Ooh, look, a lizard. So there will be no campfire because fire banned. So no more fires for the rest of the summer. Unless like a bunch of rain comes and the forest service decides to lift the band. But here's like the little creek. I did, there is a bunch of trash in here. And there's some down there. But overall, this campsite, it's, it's pretty clean and not that bad. I did notice something over here that I did want to check out. That's crazy, it looks like they built a dam right here. Maybe because the water would be coming rushing down that way. And to give it a little break and cool down. To venture on that way. Alright, so I am just going to chill and relax. And then I'll probably check back in with you guys when I start making my dinner. Alright guys, so... I ended up getting a pretty bad headache and so I luckily the sun moved so the trees were blocking the sun so I could get inside the tent and I just kind of laid down relaxed took medicine I ended up taking a little bit more medicine so I feel a little bit better 
Uh, I feel I should say good enough to make my food. Uh, luckily, I'm not making anything too crazy. I'm making um, shrimp fried rice and, you know, some veggies to go with it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna eat. Hopefully I'll feel better um, and go from there. there's my dinner guys it looks good my headache it feels like it's almost gone so I cannot wait to eat so I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys afterwards so the Sun it's about to set in about a half an hour that's when sunset is in about half an hour 20 minutes. Uh, I made some tea. My food was freaking delicious. Uh, I still have a little bit of a headache, so I am gonna take some Tylenol. And I'm just gonna relax the rest of the evening. When the sun goes down, I'm going to bed. You know, I pretty much have everything cleaned up. I just gotta put a few things in the truck, put away, and then I'm good to go for the night. So I will see you guys at some point tomorrow morning.
Good morning, guys. So, I had a good night's rest. I got up at about two in the morning to go pee, and I still had the headache. Um, so, what I ended up doing was I ended up sifting through my stuff, and I found some ibuprofen. I was like, screw the Tylenol, it's not working. Took some ibuprofen, went back to bed. It's fully gone, I'm good now. But uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna enjoy some oranges and then I am gonna get ready and I'm gonna go on the hike. I'm gonna enjoy the hike. And then when I come back, I'll make breakfast. So that, that's my plan right now. All right, I got camp all situated, squared away, so I can go on this hike and see where this trail leads and if it uh, has any views. So let's do this. Oh, well, looks like I made it to the end of the trail. Wasn't that far from where I camped, maybe like a quarter mile. Oh, look at that. It looks like they have like a little, uh, they have one of those like other makeshift dams. I, I don't wanna call, maybe like um water slowing down dam. I got something over here too. I got this structure, I wonder what it's for. It's a hole right there. I didn't bring a flashlight, so can't look in there. It's also locked. There you go. Yeah, I can't see anything. Oh wait, hold on. I have my uh, phone. Let's see if that light works. It's gonna be good enough. Yeah, no, not powerful enough. All right, um, I'm gonna head down this way. like a little dam, something to help regulate the water when it's flowing. All right. Ugh. All right, well that's good to know uh, where it ends. I did see a trail on the way here that I'm gonna take, cause it goes up and I think it might give me a view. So I'm gonna see. Looks like someone had a campfire here. That wood is stacked all too neat for it to be mother nature doing that. I wonder if it was like hikers or not hikers, hunters or something like that. All right, I'm gonna head back to that one spot and see if it gives me a view.
So I made it to the spot where it's uh, um, where I can go up, but I did want to show you. There is a sign that says it's clearer, and it says why. Um, I guess the area is closed for motor vehicles. It's for soil and wildlife protection, but foot, foot, horse, and bike travel is permitted. Right next to that, on this side, you can see there's an old, uh, I guess, motor trail. You can see it's it's closed for motor vehicles, but foot, horse, and foot and horse travel permitted, and it, it goes up. So. I'm going to see where this leads. So I hit a fork in the road. I can go that way or that way. I'm going to go that way first. That's so cool. It gets, it's still following me. It's over there. The turkey. Oh, look, it's coming back. See? That was crazy. That was unexpected. I'm glad I had the camera on. Oh look, now it's on the freaking uh, trail. I wonder if it's uh, trying to lead me away from its baby's family. Ooh, it's starting to warm up. I'm gonna have to put my hair up. This trail keeps going, guys. I'm about to take a look at the map, see where I'm at. I've gone. All right. It's gonna feel better with the hair up. All right, let's see where I'm at. So go ahead, take a look. We're right here. I'm wondering if this trail leads to this uh, road. We came from this road, you know, a little bit. I don't want to show the number where I'm at, but. I'm gonna keep going, see where it leads. All right. Well, I made it. I made it to the one road. It took me a little bit further than I thought where it was gonna take me. But I thought there was going to be some signs saying you can't drive on that road. But there's nothing. Um, maybe I'll venture that way a little bit. There is. It does fork as well. So there's another trail. I think that goes that way. You can see someone has been here. You can see these, uh, some of the dirt tracks, they're, they're fairly new because you can see like where Mother Nature has been taking over and where someone has driven. So I'm just going to go down this way just a little bit, not that far. And then I'm going to start heading back to camp because it's getting warm. I forgot my cool dry towel. 
and I'm getting hungry. So this is gonna be my turning point. I know I can. So I was looking at the official motor vehicle use map for Coconino. And um, there are trails that way, motor vehicle trails, and there is camping allowed uh, over there. So I might make a trip out of it uh, one of these times, maybe next time, or I don't know, we'll see. But good to know. I am kind of surprised though that where I was, it was all no motor vehicles, only foot horse traffic is allowed. But like here, where it meets up with the trails you're allowed to be on, which is on the official map that says you're allowed to be on, there's no marker saying you can't go that way the way I came, um, which is a little odd to me. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my snacks, some more water, and then I'm actually gonna head back to where that fork was Take that a little bit, and then I'll head back to camp. Oh. Oh. All right, I made it back to camp, guys. Oh. Just so everyone knows, my uh, I had a banana and apple. I did not throw it somewhere out in nature. I packed it out. <coughs> I also, on my way back, I found two beer cans. So I just ended up hightailing it uh, back here because, you know, I spent about maybe almost three hours wandering around, checking stuff out. Now that I'm all sweaty, the bugs are, uh, the bugs are attracted to me. Uh, but I turned on my uh, repellent, so hopefully that'll kick in in a minute. And then I am going to get, I guess now my brunch going uh, once I cool off. Uh, I'm gonna relax for a minute though. And then food. All right, so I've just been chilling, but I'm hungry. So I washed everything. Now I'm gonna start cutting it up and cooking it so I can eat. I don't know if something you guys noticed when I was on the hike, but I was just wearing my uh, regular shoes. I forgot my hiking boots. So luckily the trail was super easy and wasn't that bad. So it would have been nice to have the hiking shoes, but these shoes, they served fine. All right, um, I'm gonna get cooking, or I should say, yeah, cooking, prepping, cooking, whatever.
So there's my food. I can't wait to go to town on it. Um, I did want to show you guys before I eat. I actually um, went and I bought, so if you noticed, I uh, have a new plate that I've been using. I also got this uh, bowl as well. I got two of them each. Um, instead of using the paper slash plastic plates, I now have reusable ones. All right, I'm going to eat. I'll see you after that. Uh... All right, so my food was delicious per usual. Um, and then I just chilled for a little bit and I decided to start cleaning up, packing up everything because I looked at the weather and I saw, I do have a little bit of reception where I'm at and I saw it's supposed to be into the mid upper eighties today. And I was like, eh, I ain't gonna do that. Right now it's 1230. Last time I checked the temperature, I think it was like at 88. So I got mostly everything packed up. I did, I so, the bug problem I have, so I have bug spray. I also have the um, the thing that omits um, stuff that gives you like a 15 foot radius. But last trip I went on, the problem I had is when I went to bed, I woke up and I had all these bites on me. And so they got inside the tent. So what I did is I got this um, insect killer lanyard. It, and I and what I did is when I went to bed, I turned it on. You know, it's like I didn't go to bed right away, so I turned it on. It was maybe on for maybe half an hour, hour. And then I turned it off and went to bed. Like I fell asleep. I woke up with a bunch of bites on my neck. I don't know if you can tell, but like on my neck, here you go. Uh, I don't know if uh, that turned out well because I couldn't see. But yeah, I, I got a bunch of bites there. I got a bite right here. And so I'm like, what the hell, man? And I know this was I know this was working because I kept hearing bugs hitting the tent trying to get in because they were attracted to the light. So I think I'm going to give it one more shot um and see if it does work help because that's my big issue right now is when I go to bed. But uh, anyways, another thing is um, when I went on my camping trip and it rained on me, I had a smaller version of this. It came a set of two and the other one broke. I wasn't, you know, I was, I was starting to not like it. So when it broke, I was like, cool, I can throw it away, whatever, be done with it. And I was like, well, let me just use this bigger one for the time being until I find something. And this one is still giving me problems. Like it'll, I don't know where, but it's leaking somewhere and oil gets everywhere. So I think I'm just gonna toss that and be done with it and just go on the hunt this week and find something that'll work to hold my oil. That'll seal it and I won't have to worry about it spilling or leaking, I should say, spilling or leaking. All right, so I think that's the down low of that stuff. So I'm gonna finish up packing everything up and hightail it out of here. But this is where I'm gonna leave you. So just like normal guys, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.